All right, so here's a slideshow showing um, the inside of a Lenovo ThinkPad E15. Um, I wasn't able to do a video, so I just took pictures of it. So the first thing you want to do is remove all the screws. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. Um, just undo all of them. They actually stay in place. Uh, after you do that, you want to pry out the base from the palm rest assembly. So just go from the trackpad area and then around the sides and then go towards the back uh, where the hinge is and then pry up closer towards the center and slide your fingernails or pry tools all the way across. Um, once you do that, you can actually lift the cover off and then you can see inside the computer. If you're having trouble getting the cover off, um, I have several videos on Lenovo laptops that are very similar. Just watch a few of those and you'll get the idea. Okay, so here you can see the hard drive. Um, to remove this, all you need to do is push in the back side here and then lift it out at an angle. Um, this is a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive and you can upgrade it to an SSD if you want. Alright, and then here you can see there's an M.2 SSD. I don't know if it supports PCIe NVMe or just uh, SATA SSDs. Um, and then you can also see the USB port and the um, Ethernet port are a separate board. So if you need to replace that, you can. Then you can also see the fan. If you need to replace that, you actually have to remove the heat sink. Um, and then there's also the wireless card and the connector for the... Um, the USB port and the Ethernet port. Um, so if you're not sure how to remove these, I have a whole bunch of videos showing these. Um, just watch a bunch of my other videos and you'll get an idea how to do that as well. And then here you can see the battery and the model number if you need to replace it is L17M3P52. And then you have the speaker to the right of that as well as um, the CMOS battery connector it looks like. I didn't get a picture of the model of the RAM, but it is DDR4. Um, you'll want to open up your computer and check the speed of your RAM um, because sometimes if you get a different speed, it won't be compatible and your computer won't start up. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that will help me. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.